So let's just move from that to um, what Sim Shagaya is up to. Oni Baj. Oni Baja. Oni Baja Fund. Um, I find the name quite interesting. Um, but um, Sim was in Pisa Post. Like, just give us an overview of um, Sim's vision or scope for that fund. Yes, so um, I can't speak for what the vision is right now with much certainty. Um, if you want to hear from Sim Shagai, you have to check back um, next week. I'll have something for you. But let's see. Let's do small predictions. <laughs> okay, so the Honey Badger Fund. Basically, honey badgers are like these wild animals that are both fearless, resilient. They have tough skin. They don't. They don't cower under the face of threat. So, so I'm guessing if you're choosing that name for a fund that's supposed to back African founders, you want to back really bold. I know everybody uses that word here. Yeah. Everybody says they want to back bold, ambitious um, founders. But yeah, that's the goal here. Yeah. Um, something from the website says backing founders who are building African founders who are building global solutions. So my guess is that two sectors that they will focus on, one is SaaS, and then the other would be artificial intelligence solutions. Software as a service. Yes, software as a service and then artificial intelligence solutions. Um so yes, that's what I am predicting they would do. Um I'm guessing your next question would be um <laughs> what is the the implication now. Okay, let's do implications. So Simshaga is um, one of the most experienced founders around in Africa, and getting it's the serial chance. Serial entrepreneur. Yes, yeah, serial entrepreneur. Built Conga. Built. I think Lootsad before that was it. E Motion or something. An advertising company before Conga. Then Ulysses and now Miva University. So all of that experience is very helpful for any founder who is just um, getting started. Mm -hmm. So, I even am very... Even if he's the only one. Hmm? If, even if he's the only one mentoring you. I mean, That's yes. Strange. Even if... It, so, first, Sim doesn't do a lot of social media activity. Mm -hmm. So, you probably don't get to, like, hear his thoughts except you're doing, like, in-person interactions. Yeah. So, I guess it's going to be valuable for any founder to, like, one-on-one, -on -one, up close, yeah. have conversations with him. Yes. So beyond capital they said they would try to like basically provide the fuel for you to build your um build your startup and the good thing is like i said it's one of the most experienced founders around um there's this thing where founders usually say oh, we want to raise money from ex founders or ex operators because they mm -hmm. understand yeah. um, the road we are traveling because they've been there before done that and stuff like that so this time around you have someone who's been there still doing that and he can he can help you hopefully navigate through some of the challenges that you have. So yes, that's the help. That's the that's the hope. Um, we are not yet certain when investments will start. Probably going to take a while. I mean, they would have to probably raise a fund. I don't know if that is already in the works. Mm -hmm. Probably going to have to raise a fund. Initially, he's probably going to invest with his own money, money from like friends, colleagues, and all of that. But at some point, you're going to I have to raise a fund. Sorry? Yeah, I was going to say, like, like you don't have to raise a fund. Yeah, so at some point, probably going to raise, like, at least start with a small fund and then see how it goes from there. I don't know if that's going to happen this year because right now it's pretty difficult to raise money yeah, so for anybody, so I don't know. Yeah, so well, g g looking at the, how challenging it is to raise money or the funding winter mm -hmm. that is going on everywhere, and yeah, globally, um... Uh, those are the questions some of the questions we'll be asking Sim that you will get to know next week we are going to be speaking with him concerning this fund and um, mostly about his intention and when it will kick off so um, stay with us and um, we will let you know on how that goes to listen to the full episode of this podcast visit podcast.techpoint.africa or search for Techpoint Africa podcast on your favorite podcast platforms Thank you.